The island of Sodor is surrounded by beautiful blue sea. It has fields of green and sandy yellow beaches. There are rivers, streams and lots of trees where the birds sing. There are windmills and a coal mine and docks where visitors to the island arrive. The island also has lots and lots of railway lines. Who's that puffing down the track? It's Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the island of Sodor. Percy and the left luggage. In summertime, the engines on the island of Sodor enjoy being busy. Many visitors come to the island. The engines take them to visit many beautiful sites. Percy liked the summer. He was as happy as could be. The FAC controller came to Tidmouth. He had lots of jobs for Percy. You are to collect the holiday mail, deliver the lights for the town hall, and take the children to their summer party. Percy was very happy. You are also to collect the Dowager Hatch luggage from Maithwaite Station and take it to the airport, he boomed. The plane leaves at tea time. It is very important you get it there on time. Yes, sir, peeped Percy excitedly, and he puffed out of Tidmouth as fast as he could. Percy steamed through the sunny countryside. He was very happy. Why, this could be the most fun day ever, Percy peeped. Percy came to a junction. The left track went to Maithwaite Station and to Dowager Hat's luggage. And straight ahead was the postal depot. Percy thought about which way to go, but not for very long. Taking the luggage is an easy job, he said. I can do that later. And so Percy puffed straight ahead to the postal depot to collect the mail. Percy buffered up to the presents and mail sacks. He wished away as happy as he could be. Percy had lots of stations to go to and lots of people to talk to. Hello, he peeped happily. Some of the wagons were uncoupled and Percy chuffed on with the rest of his deliveries. When everyone saw the parcels and presents, they clapped and cheered. They were very pleased. Percy was having a wonderful time. He wished he could do it all over again. Percy wondered what job to do next. He came to another junction. This time, straight ahead was the way to Maithwaite Station and to Dowager Hat's luggage, and the left track went to Brendam Docks. The lights for the town hall were waiting there. Taking the luggage is an easy job, he said. I can do that later. And so Percy puffed left to collect the lights for the town hall. Percy collected the lights from the docks and he set off for the town hall. Percy pulled up outside the town hall. People on the platform smiled and waved. They were looking forward to seeing the town hall all lit up. Percy puffed along. He was feeling more and more excited. Now I can take the children to the party, he peeped. That's the best job of all. Percy came to the junction again. 
Dowager Hat's luggage was still waiting at Maithwaite. But Percy wasn't thinking about the luggage. He was thinking about the children. Percy collected the children in no time at all. Soon the children were singing and Percy was whistling. Everyone was having a glorious time. Then Percy needed to take on water. The fat controller drove by. He was taking Dowager Hat to the airport. Percy suddenly remembered the luggage. Bust my buffers, cried Percy. I must collect the luggage now or Dowager Hat will leave without it. Percy was worried. Now I can't take the children to the party. He puffed quickly away. He had to find someone to help him. Percy saw Edward resting in a siding. Edward, wailed Percy. I'm late to take Dowager Hat's luggage to the airport. Will you take the children to the party for me, please? I'd be delighted, chuffed Edward. So Percy left the coach in the siding. He peeped goodbye to the children and raced to Maithwaite Station. Percy buffered up to the luggage and weeshed away as fast as his wheels would carry him. Time flew and so did Percy. He had to arrive at the airport before the fat controller. Percy raced through tunnels, he chuffed over bridges and puffed left and right. Why didn't I do this job first? wailed Percy. Percy arrived at the airport just in time. Jeremy the plane was waiting. The luggage was unloaded just as the fat controller's car arrived. I made it on time, peeped Percy. You're a very reliable engine, boomed Dowager Hat as she boarded Jeremy. Well done, Percy, said the fat controller. Percy smiled. Jeremy soared into the sky. The fat controller waved and Percy blew his whistle. He'd never leave things to the last minute again. Cheeky one.